All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of the Scotty Cameron Collection Series. Here is what the collection is looking like, and our budget is looking like $353.53. That is what we have left over from the last episode. And if you guys haven't been following the series, we have basically gotten this entire collection for free, along with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and miles on the car. But essentially, we've just been flipping golf clubs from thrift stores, flea markets, and garage sales, and then reinvesting that into the collection. And if you ask me, the collection is looking muy caliente. That is the last club that we got. And Ashley bet me that I would not say that on camera. I owe you a sadly, dollar. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I only bet a dollar. And sadly, the Pyrex collection has some sad news. They just announced that they went bankrupt, so it's a sad day for fellow it's Pyrex collectors. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, but hopefully you can make up for that and add to our budget and hopefully add a Scotty Cameron to the collection and maybe pick up some Pyrex for Ashley. Hopefully. But never know what you're gonna find though, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. <laughs> All right, lots of golf clubs over here. Looks like we got a, a full set of these Spaldings. Looks like they're laminate, not persimmon though. What do you got over there? Oh, there you card. go. Let's see if we find something worthy of framing. Yes. We got a Grand Slammer wide body. This is the uh, same maker as the Stealth wide body, my uh, nickname in high school. What else we got? Oh, we got a uh, Taylor Made Rescue Mid. That is pretty sweet. The face looks like it's in perfect condition, but the uh, bottom has like some surface rust. Let's see how much it's going for. Six dollars. Definitely uh, worth picking up on that. These Wilsons are super cool. The Wilson Aggressors. That's kind of cool. How it's like uh, raised. Yeah, raised. There's a beveled is that the correct term I don't know. you guys can let us know in the uh, comment section below we got a uh, golf club pen set right here 9.99 that's uh, more than the uh, golf club i think that's more than that thing uh, i've seen those at like novelty stores before <laughs> it's kind of a oh man check these out speaking of novelty well they didn't used to be a novelty but they are super cool now robert tyre jones so some bobby jones clubs right here three four five six. Oh, is this a full set that would be sick. These are kind of cool. It's not a full set though, but this is actually a pyrotone. It looks like it's wood when uh, golf club manufacturers were switching from steel. People didn't trust yeah. it, which is like crazy to think of. Yeah, that. it's kind of a thing. It was like steel is like the uh, standard in all of uh, iron shafts. So when they were going from wood to steel, like, they no, made them no, to no. look like wood because people didn't think that steel was going to be good. Kind of uh, interesting right there. We got some uh, Tommy Armor 845 knockoffs and some wildfires. Interesting clubs in here to uh, say the least. All right, not only did we pick up the TaylorMade Hybrid, but check this out. Ashley is adding to her collection of shirts. Yes. That is pretty sweet. A buzz. It is new, but it kind of looks like old yeah, school. Yeah, they did a really good job yeah. of making them feel old school. Speaking cool. of old school, check this, this out. This so is amazing. Cool. Oh, it's hiding. There we go. <laughs> old school Florida Gators vertical stripe. Uh, so That's awesome. kind of amazing. We'll, we'll be those seeing like that. Tebow jerseys. Yeah, we'll see uh, that out on the uh, golf course. Not anytime yeah. in the uh, summer. No. It is a uh, soccer jersey season for Ashley. It's fishing shirt season for me. Yes. Florida in the summer is pretty uh, intense. intense. I wish you could wear that right now, but. About six months you'll see this on the course. Yeah. But you know where you'll see us next? Probably another thrift store. There you go, nailed it. Yes. All right, next stop, we are hitting up this pawn shop. It literally looks like a castle, both on the outside and as you'll see on the uh, inside. It's pretty amazing. Kind of fascinating. There you go. We found a, a Ping G425 like two months after it came out in here. Yeah. How's it going? What do we got over here? Got a whole system. The System Q clubs. Interesting. Wilson D100. Oh, they got the uh, speed sticks. These actually go for pretty good. How much are they going for here? $120. That's about what they go for. We got, uh, I think, all three of these. We got them for like $15 a day at Flea Market once. It's one of our more popular videos ever for some reason. How much is the uh, Fly Z going for? That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, the head cover is pretty sick. Matrix OZ shaft in the uh, Wilson D100 is kind of cool. What do you got? Two way chipper down there. Mm, all right. We can probably do this one. Go make him an offer. Did you do uh, 30 out the door? 35 out the door? Sure, that sounds good. All right, sweet little pickup right there. It was kind of funny. <laughs> it didn't really even need to negotiate, but it was like, ah, I felt like I would uh, win. And she was like, yeah, I gotcha. That, but you were like, I'm going Yeah, for I'm it. going for it. But uh, it usually goes for like 60 to $90. So yeah. not a crazy deal, but definitely worth uh, picking up. Also, the guy, there was a uh, manager there and he was a subscriber. So uh, shout out to uh, him. But uh, sweet little pickup right there in the Cobra. We'll meet you at the uh, next spot. All right, we got a full set of clubs right here for $10. This is pretty sweet. I uh, wish it <laughs> that's cool, right? <laughs> I wish one day that they like make one where it's like numbered by the irons. Yeah, you, you push pull the, uh... the seven iron and it does seven. Look, oh this, like, man, check this out! I didn't see this. Five hundred and one excuse. Sorry, what did you say? It's Good. like the best price we've ever seen. Oh yeah, they're usually like fifty or sixty dollars. Yeah. Five hundred and one excuses for a bad golf shot. I definitely need that. <laughs> but they uh, do have some golf clubs over here. What do we got? An AccuSteel and 
what is this? Oh my goodness. This is the lightest putter I've ever felt. This is like literally lighter than a, uh, oh, it's got a Goodwill sticker on it. That's hilarious. This is not a Goodwill, but uh, this is like the lighter than putt putt. I kind of want to get this to see if you actually are the world's greatest putter. If you can make a putt with this, that would make you the world's greatest putter. You want the clock or the uh, phone thing? Clearly. Clearly? Mm. Well, we got dialed in on that one and we're going to get dialed in on this one. Sweet. Nailed it. Thumbnail right there. This is what you subscribe for right here. <laughs> Let me to the next spot. Next spot, Godfather Pond. This is like the second time we've been here. We randomly came here on the day that they opened. Didn't know it was like their grand opening. And if you go to a grand opening for a pawn shop, they have nothing to offer. So it's kind of interesting. Let's see if they got something today. Can I help you guys find anything today? Uh, do you have any golf clubs? I have a few left uh, right at the end of this aisle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we can, you know, do bundle deals or whatever. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. Cool. Thank you. I watched some of it when I Expert filming right here. What are those? Tour selections like Ping I2 uh, knockoffs. Got a Bag Boy silencer though. It's kind of cool. And some MX25s. Wish that was a full set. Mm -hmm. uh, Pro Tour Tour Wedge 10 iron. A little Adams A3 OS sandwich. Mizuno. Four, five, and six. Hmm. Oh, I didn't take six out here. I wonder if these are individual or is there a price on the bag? She was kind of saying bundle sort of thing. So. We'll bundle these three together. There you go. Nailed it. You've heard right? Yeah. How's it going? Hey, how we doing, guys? Good. What's up, y'all? Fine, anything? Yeah. Yep. You know what you can do on these guys? Ah, of course I can. That's... They weren't out of anything. So They're in a bag, but they didn't go with the other clothes. Like a hot yeah. Maybe not. I know y'all are fair. Um... 15? So. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. That, was, that was way too easy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go ahead and write them up a uh, uh, miscellaneous sporting. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Thank Can you. Can I go put us on the channel again? Yep. If you want to be. Awesome. Of course. Always. <laughs> we'll say only bad things. <laughs> oh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> bad things. Thank you. Word. Well, that might be the first time in history. We've only been here once that he remembered us, but that was kind of crazy. It's just like, make it offer. You guys are fair. I was like, I don't know. These are like $5 at a uh, Goodwill. So it was like, $15. Sold. There you go. That's how you negotiate. That's why you guys subscribe. Negotiation skills and uh, things not to buy while you're also going to look for golf clubs. Amazing content. That's why you guys subscribe. But we'll meet you at the uh, next spot. All right. Next spot is a twofer. We got a Goodwill right here and one of our favorite golf shops, Alexis Golf Shop. Let's see if we can find something. Man, comment below if you remember this. We did so many thumbnails right here. There it is. Comment below if you remember that. Let's see if there's some memorable golf clubs in this Goodwill. Oh, those look super shiny. Oh, some Walter Haggis. Those look amazing from uh, afar right there. What else we got over here? A Top Flight HCT. Got some uh, pool cues and a interesting bag. That's got, it's like the cargo pants of uh, golf bags. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, no golf club is worth picking up in here, but I can pretty much guarantee we're gonna find some in the uh, next spot. All right, I wonder if she remembers us. <laughs> How's it going? It's been a while. You remember us? Whoa, these are sick. <laughs> One iron all the way down to the sandwich. That is insane. Isn't that funny? How's your knee doing? Ping Raptures, 549 for the set. Oh, yeah, we were in and out of there real quick. There was nothing there. Got a bet and already over here. <laughs> Dang, that is sick. It doesn't have the uh, honeycombs. Kind of cool. What's that going for? 295. Got a couple of Scotties over here. Oh, that one's sick. It's got a 0.5 hosel. Which one is that? Select 2.5, 359, it's kind of cool. All right, let's see what else we got back here. Oh, this almost looks like a uh, Scotty Cameron TI3. Huh. Uh, we missed him at the flea market, I felt so bad. Oh, I'm sneaking into your back room. Oh, that's cool. That one looks sweet. Watch it, something like weird. We did this one and it was made out of a bull's private parts. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> we were at a flea market one time and the guy was like, got you. And I was like, That's, That's cool. Not hickory. <laughs> we need to play in the Hickory Golf Classic one day. The oh, the head cover. That's worth the price of admission right there. Oh, Nike's Moxby Black. Mitsubishi Fubuki. 
there's so much good stuff in here. It's overwhelming. All right, always uh, fun catching up with Alexis. And we also caught ourselves some deals. Check this out, a Hirohama persimmon driver. That thing is awesome. Goes for over $100. We got it for $59. And then check out the Spider S putter as well for $69. Still goes for over $100. And we got ourselves a uh, Alexis golf shop ball. And if you're ever in Daytona, definitely check it out. And you have a Goodwill right next to it. All right, folks, we are getting things set up for our next live whatnot auction. It is a couple of days later, and we have had ourselves quite the couple of days. Both Ashley and I got food poisoning, which is never fun. She is still not feeling good. I'm feeling a little bit better, so I'm doing this solo. We had the auction scheduled. They want to back out of it, so hopefully I can get through this whatnot auction all by my lonesome. First try doing it by myself, but... If you guys have never watched it before, it's basically a live auction where everything starts out at $1, so we have no idea what things are actually gonna sell for, but uh, hopefully it goes well, and uh, we'll show you a couple of clips of just me selling. This is gonna be very awkward, so I'm sure this will, uh, it'll be entertaining nonetheless, but uh, let's get into the uh, auction, and then tomorrow, hopefully we'll be feeling better, and we'll go out and hunt down a Scotty Cameron worthy of the collection. As always, we are getting things started off with a giveaway. This is a Ping B60 putter, but uh, the winner of the Ping B60 putter shipped to you perfectly free, Joshua Vidro. And Jay Kearns 119 won the Spider S putter for $115. Thank you so much. And that is being won by Stefan right now. Stefan won that for $65. Thank you so much. So that makes you the winner of the MX25 Foreign for 50, no, $64, thank you. But the uh, TaylorMade Rescue Mid 4 Hybrid is currently going for $66 and being won by Go Dogs. Go Dogs just pulled that one out for $66, thank you so much. $35 on the Golf Bag Telephone, thank you so much. MX25 5 Iron Regular Flex with the Lampkin mid size grip on there is currently being won by Golf Dad. We got one second left. Golf Dad purchased that for $45, the Mizuno MX-25 5 iron. All right, folks, Ashley is back and looking better than ever. At least feeling more human, thank you. You are looking that good, but uh, we're getting things started off here at Dick's Sporting Goods on our hunt for a Scotty Cameron. We gotta go over some numbers first. We did $1,000 in overall sales on the auction last night and $328.85 of that is eligible for the Scotty Cameron fund. And then with a total cost of goods and everything, all of the uh, fees taken out, we are left with a profit of $180. $83.53, leaving us with a new Scotty Cameron fund of $537.38. Also, I'm very sorry that you had to do the whatnot all by yourself, but you did a really good job. I'm sorry for the people who had to watch that, but hopefully <laughs> we can find a Scotty Cameron worthy of going in the collection and make up for the terrible video so far. But speaking of a terrible video, somehow we're getting close to 225,000 subscribers. And I have no idea how, but thank you guys Thank you guys much. so much. We are going to be doing a giveaway of a Scotty Cameron Newport yes. Select in right or left-handed. So uh, stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed, but let's see what we can find. The Dick Sporting is. We're gonna hit up a, a couple of places if this one doesn't have anything for us, but never know what you're gonna find though. So let's go find let's it. Let's go find it again. Two intros and one video. <laughs> Whoa, way less clubs than there were in here last time. They still have this uh, purple apex though. There was a uh, Scotty Cameron Golo number five in here for like over a yeah. year. What is this? Tailor made railer. I don't remember this uh, model coming no. out. Almost looks like the uh, CGB era of them only 1999 pretty interesting let's see if they've got any in the uh, scotty cameron case we do have the budget for a new one but those are kind of boring oh there's a ping pistol grip this could be oh no it's a, a ping pld uh, that is pretty sweet one of the all-time uh, classic setups is the newport too with the ping pistol grip because somebody uh, very famous used that yes. but it uh, looks like just the uh, new ones in there looks like the uh, super selects Actually, the Ping PLD out of this whole lineup would probably be the one that I uh, buy. It is super nice. It's you can really see the cool. millings on there, like super, super deep, even deeper than the uh, Scotty Camerons. But uh, looks like we're going to have to go one store deeper in our quest for a uh, Scotty Cameron Ooh, worthy of the collection. Good. That was a good segue for me. <laughs> we'll meet you to the next spot. All right, next stop, golf, etc. Actually, our first time ever here. Use clubs 30% off. Oh, even uh, putters. Nice. Sweet. Let's see what they got for us. Whoa, check out this Mizuno bucket cap. That is awesome. Oh, they've got the uh, LACC. Uh, that is cool. That's funky. Huh. Yeah, it's all the uh, TaylorMade special edition stuff for yeah. the uh, US Open. That is cool. Are they TaylorMade putters under here? Uh, yep, that would be kind of cool if they had a uh, Scotty Cameron <laughs> under there, though. Oh, they do it. They have a uh, Scotty Cameron case over here. Uh, I don't know if those are used or not. Looks like they've got 389. I think that is the uh, Golo 5. 
Oh, I got a couple of those. <laughs> There's another uh, PLD putter in here. Whatever, the only other putters we ever find in here are either uh, Betnardis or PLDs. The black PLDs are super cool. Mm -hmm. That one's completely murdered out, even the uh, grip and the uh, shaft. Oh, what else we got? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a uh, Kurt Curry, super famous putter maker, but this is like a uh, a fitting tool. But it's actually got like really deep milligs on there. That is really cool. It's like unnecessary, but a very yeah. nice feature. That is uh, kind of cool. <laughs> What else we got over here? Oh, there is, this is a uh, Scotty Cameron Red X. This is one with the uh, offset hosel, the answer hosel on there. Oh, cool. That is kind of cool. I have one of the original Red Xs. Actually, one of the <laughs> one of the uh, first uh, Scotty Camerons that we added, not in the collection, but on the uh, channel, we had a uh, Scotty Cameron Red X and it had a Circle T uh, shaft label on there. <laughs> it was a fake, yeah. How much is it? It 250. was a real. Yeah, it was a real Scotty Cameron, but they had the uh, fake yeah. uh, shaft la label on there. That's kind of cool, $250 on that one. See if there's anything else. Got an even roll down there. Kind of sweet. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, thank you. Let's see if there's. I think that was the putter section. We might as well look at the clubs while we're in here. Very Never been much. in here. Got a uh, Cleveland Smart Soul for 60. Seen anything crazy in here. Got a uh, TSR. Got a Hanma. That's kind of cool. It's here. 2440. We actually tried the uh, Hanma Barras, the three diamond one. <laughs> it wasn't good. It's kind of uh, funny. But what else do we got over here? Got some uh, SLDRs, got some P770s, MP5s are looking pretty sweet. Full Cobra ladies. Yeah. Huh. Well, definitely some good stuff in here. I don't think yeah. there's a Scotty for us, but 30% off. That's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. We'll meet you at the next spot. I lied, we're still in the same store. They've got some crazy discounts over here. $7.50 on some Mizuno comp gloves. They have one in my size and they also have 30% off of the uh, hats. And I was like, I really like that Mizuno bucket cap. And then Ashley tried it on and she looks, looks better. looks better on me, I'm sorry. Everything looks better on you, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be uh, the winner with this glove. And then Ashley's gonna be the true winner of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it always looks so much better than the bucket cap. I wish I, I could no pull them off. Why. Although my hat is pretty sweet today, I gotta lie. Yeah, Not gonna lie. K sick hat. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, well, now we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, folks, next up, as you can see behind me, play it again, sports. Ashley is not only getting the hat, but she's making me uh, open it. But I do get to use this super fancy line cutter. Not sponsored, though, Academy Sports. If you do want to sponsor us, that'd be awesome. Also, I think their only other like athlete that they sponsor is Jacob Wheeler. Oh yeah, a, from yeah, Indiana. Yeah, from Indiana. He's a yeah, fisherman. Also, if you see John in the shirt every single video, it's it's brother. Yeah, I have a multiples. bunch of these because they're amazing in the uh, Florida summer. That's why Ashley wears uh, soccer jerseys all the time too. They're very breathable. Yeah. Also, if you guys have watched our daily channel, this is the uh, Play to Get Sports <laughs> where we found a uh, water rower. rowing machine. Yeah. yeah. It was worth like sixteen hundred dollars, and it like just had like a little leak. We fixed it. Now it's our rowing machine. But uh, let's go see if we can find ourselves a uh, just as good a deal. Inside first. the store, not in the trash. Yes. Well, Scotty Cameron in the trash would be pretty amazing. <laughs> yes. There you go. I need to suit up first. <laughs> suit up. There you go. All right, we'll meet you inside. Oh, tons of putters in here. Okay. You got to be careful, though. No unattended children allowed on the putting you. ring. You'll have to watch uh, over me. Let's see if we can watch over. What is this? I was going to say, let's see if we can watch over a hey, Scotty Cameron. Oh, what is that? Radius roll milled putter. It's kind of like a, a teardrop. Oh, it is? There you go. <laughs> Wonder if that's ever been on a tour there. <laughs> Got a, a three ball. Don't know if that ever made it to the tour. Oh, I think this is a, a tad, yeah, Tad Moore. He actually uh, employed Scotty Cameron for a while. That is super cool. How much is that going for? We actually found one of these at a thrift store for $1.99. $24.99. That is still super cool to see. Got a uh, Odyssey white hot number five, or not a white hot number five, but a, a number five. Oh, check this out. A Scotty Cameron Studio Stainless. With the head cover. That is super cool. We have the one, oh, this is the 2.5. I was gonna say we have the 1.5 of this. That is awesome. Only $229. With the head cover. Yeah, we just found one of the, uh, the 1.5s not too long ago, and it was still going for over $300 without the uh, head cover yeah. and this is the cool one it still has the uh, divot tool yeah well, well it doesn't, doesn't have end. the divot tool but it has the thing for the divot tool yeah. they always fall out but that is super super sick that is definitely going in the uh, collection yeah. i was getting a little worried there it's funny how the uh, hardest thing has not been getting the budget for the scotty no. cameron it's been finding an actual scotty cameron worthy of going it, in the collection it helped as soon as you found the tad more yeah. it was destiny it was destiny after that but uh, i think well we may be able to get to that too but we're definitely getting that yes. one we got a, a phg putter right there oh we got a, a nike putter might as well just look at that for fun also i think this is a nike putter as well interesting all right the uh, method number five and that's the method number four i think 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, method number uh, four. <laughs> Nike putter collection uh, coming soon. But man, definitely going to add the uh, 2.5 yes. into the collection. That is a sick find. Almost as sick of a find as the uh, Mizuno bucket cap. It was destined to be with this outfit too. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Just like you and that putter. Yes. All right, folks, another awesome addition to the Scotty Cameron collection. Hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Also, if you like this video, you'll probably like the one popping up somewhere on the screen. Somewhere. There'll be another Scotty Cameron series video. So go watch that. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs>